in Genesis chapter 32, 28, where Jacob is wrestling with that angel, and the angel yes. ac- asks him his name, and then he gives him he gives him a new name, and it's Israel. So then mm-hmm. two chapters later in 35, nobody has been calling Jacob Israel up until God then says it in 35 verse 10. He says, and God said to him, your name is Jacob. He didn't ask him, which God knows his name. And it says, you shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. And thus he called him Israel. Why is the gap there? Well, we- it's, it depends on the context of which names you use. So God calls him Israel. And as you mentioned, it has to do with wrestling with God and overcoming so I think it's a new name equals a new identity. 